how about two minute picking birds? Watch closely. Piece of paper, cut it if you can, and shove some stripes along it like that. And when you want to cut out a lozenge, a rectangle, which is about as wide as a matchbox, so we take a measurement there, that'll do, and it's about one and a half times as long. So the rectangle will end up looking rather like this. That's the body of the bird. Actually, it's the body and the head of the bird. We form that by rolling it round a pencil. It doesn't have to be hexagonal, round pencil, anything like that. It just makes a tube. At least it does if we stick up the end that's loose. I'm going to do that with a glue stick, run it along there, press it down, and I've got a tube. If I take that off, it doesn't look much like a bird at the moment, but if I squash that end that way to make the head, and the other end this way to make the body, you can see that it's shaping up pretty well. Well, let's cut the head so it looks even better. Round it off, round the top, the bottom, and the middle, and then, to make it look really convincing, go for a beak. Here we go. Scissors up there, and back under. And there's the body, the head, and the beak of the bird. And the next thing we go to is legs. We shove them in there. And they are simply made of pins, just ordinary pins. Hold the bird, and be careful you don't distort it too much. Just push them so they go straight through. They should come down right underneath the body, really at right angles to the tail. I just put them through, and you can see that. Here they go. There's the bird with its head, its beak, and its body, and its legs, but no wings, and they come next. So what we do for wings is to get another piece of paper, put more stripes on. I'm using blue and orange at this stage. You don't really need as much as that because you fold it in the middle and by cutting about one centimetre you can make a pair of wings that are identical in size. There we go. Cut a half moon out. There are the wings. Open them up, put glue on them and stick them straight above the heads of the pins. Here we go. Pick up the bird, hold it carefully and stick the wings on there. And that is one of your pecking birds. The next trick is to make them peck, and for that you need a matchbox. Take an ordinary matchbox, make sure it's empty, turn it upside down with the tray in the right place. Then all you have to do is to take one of your birds, you should have made two by now, put one in at one end, you notice as I push the tray, the bird moves back and forth. Well, don't leave it on its own, give it a companion, the one we've just made, put those legs in these holes here. press them through the tray, and if you really want to be realistic, put some grains of wheat down there, press the tray in and out, and you've got picking birds. I want to know. Curiosity.